It's early Monday morning, and while most of Hornsby Shire residents continue to press the snooze button, two of Council's staff are already hard at work. Environmental scientists Christy Geis and Elizabeth Bully are heading north to test the water quality of the Hawkesbury River. Basically the water quality monitoring program is testing whether or not the water quality is improving over time. Um, so we take monthly samples to see whether or not um, water quality is staying the same or if it's getting impacted by what's happening in the catchment. It doesn't take long to get the boat out of the shed and into the water. Then they're off. As the picturesque Hawkesbury River flashes by, they agree there are plenty of worse jobs they could have. Their first stop is up the picturesque Cowan Creek, where they need to obtain a control sample. Um, we're just getting above the tidal limit, and then we're going to collect a, um, what we call a reference site water sample. That means getting out of the boat and trekking through the bush to a freshwater site that has never seen human development. By learning about this natural stream, they can determine how much the rest of the river system is being impacted. As soon as they're done, it's back onto the open water to another testing site. We're just taking a grab sample here, which will get analysed for what nutrients are in the water, so phosphorus and nitrogen, um, any bacteria in the water, which indicates sort of septic impacts or boats have discharged, um, fecal coliforms and entrococci, and chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is an indication of how much algae is growing in the water or how product productive it is. And so the day goes on travelling between sites that range from mangrove-lined streams and moss-covered creeks to the public moorings in the centre of the river itself, performing test after test after test. All testing was once done in the hands-on manner of this algae-catching dragnet, but that's no longer the case thanks to an exciting new innovation. This is one of Council's automated testing buoys, which is able to take readings around the clock and give regular updates. The information can be found on Hornsby Shire Council's website and is accessed by a range of people with a stake in the river's health. Perhaps none get more value out of it than the Hawkesbury's oyster farmers, who have saved tens of thousands of dollars by having the latest water quality data to back up their management decisions. It's a terrific tool as far as um, the, the farmers have it, having uh, an avenue to sit back at their land base and log in real-time data, or virtually real-time data, of what's happening out in the, um, in the estuary. Now that saves us a lot of time where before we used to have to hop in the punt, travel 15 k's up river, waste fuel and our time, where we can now get a, a you know, um, real live time data from those probes and make management decisions on, um, for our business.